Yo you guys, what is going on? It's your boy Blazonary here. I hope you're having a great day. Let's go ahead and get started. I got a lot of things to do on my plate today. And recently I've been doing this little item of the day on my Snapchat. So you guys can go follow me on there, at John Carlo Perch. I gotta pick a random item of the day to actually do my little clip on now. So basically, I'll go ahead, just take a little photo. Day number four. What is it, 4 January 4th today? So we just make a little clip, I add it to my story, and you guys can go add me. That right there is my snap code, so go ahead and scan that or just add my username. I'm pretty sure this crew neck is older than me by a year, so that's really interesting. Uh, here's like the inside tag if you guys are curious as to what that looks like on a shirt from 1999. So there you go. I feel like out of the collection, I don't give this enough love. So now I would wear this crew neck today, but the problem that I have with it is just around the neck, it feels like very loose. You can even tell like my undershirt is sort of popping up underneath. And we have some errands that really make it so that I want to wear something nice, tight fitting crew neck because uh, I'll be getting my chain back. So I want to wear something that's going to be a little bit more uh, tighter fitting. Yo, when I was going through this uh, closet tour video, I actually found that I had this crew neck this uh, really nice Stone Island crew neck. I have not worn it really much at all. Let's see, maybe that'll be good for today. All right, so I think we're feeling like this is the move, but I gotta get some wrinkle release on it and some some pants on. I'm gonna rock out with these new Subi jeans that we just got on the vlog. Oh, Kurt! Getting to wear the new belt as well, the LV Prism. Not bad. Now, I know y'all want to see an updated jewelry collection video, so we're gonna make that pretty soon. Today, though, we are gonna bust out the Roly. I feel like for New York at this point, it's like customary. Like, I feel like it's such an interesting thing to say, but if you're not wearing like a nice watch, people look at you and they don't actually take you seriously. I don't know why in New York it seems to be a thing that if you're not wearing like a nice watch, people don't take you seriously. I've literally been told before, you should wear a nice watch, it makes you look more serious. Literally twice I've been told that. All right, yo, it's a fit besides the uh, wrinkle release. <laughs> I know I'd wear the chain, I know I'd wear the chain, but we have my original OG chain getting fixed. Hey, yo, something slight? Okay, something slight. So now we are looking fresh. Yo, if Downing wants to contact me for how beautiful that shot looks, let's check the weather. Oh, is brick. It's Canada Goose Brick. And it might also be time to take these down. Don't really know when though, because I really like looking at these little festive Pikachus. Yo, I want to say big thank you to everybody that cops and supports for my website, blazenary.com. Really, really appreciate it. I know you guys haven't seen the BMW on the vlog in such a long time, but I promise you, it's going to return pretty soon. I'm just trying to keep this thing, you know, nice, protected for the winter, because up here the winters are a little more brutal than North Carolina. Gross. Thank you to everybody that continually supports our website, blazenary.com. We got a lot of different great products on there, like the hypey stuff. We have the Blazenary brand. So if you guys want to go ahead, visit the site and check out some stuff, go ahead and use the code YouTube. That is a special code. Every time you watch a YouTube video of mine, you can use it when you see the word YouTube pop up. So go to blazenary.com right now and check out some stuff we have. I just want to say thank you once again for everybody that shows a lot of love and support. Somebody spare me. That's all I ask. Just somebody, somebody spare me. Somebody spare the lad. When I turn on this car and show you the miles per gallon, you're gonna be uh, in disbelief. So that's nine, right? That That's what it looks like it's gonna be. It's really gonna drop to about like 7.6 by the time we actually start moving around. You know, we need to go grocery shopping. Yeah, we do. We don't have no milk. I, tried, I, pulled, a, I pulled a bowl of cereal last night. 12 o'clock, isn't this the worst feeling ever? I poured a bowl of cereal at 12 o'clock last night only to look at the milk and see it was expired. Oh, but I low-key forgot we ordered food, so we're gonna go pick up the food, and then later tonight, we're gonna go grocery shopping because that's a much better plan. You know, I appreciate everyone's consistent support on the vlogs and everything. I'm trying to go daily or do as best as I can to upload as much content as possible. Well, right now we're gonna be headed to Aviani. Today's 
point of destination. And I'm real excited because they finally did a modification I've low-key been waiting for for like almost, I think it's like three years. Yeah, actually it is three years last month that I got my chain. That's crazy. We're gonna talk about that modification when we get there. And I don't know what else is gonna happen in this vlog. So I'm just doing my best as a creator to continue showing you guys what goes on in my day. Even though I've been on YouTube the last 10 years, I feel like I still have so much to learn. But uh, let's head out. Let's get a move on, yo. this about the g-wagon although it is the most expensive gas hog on the market it does get me some good parking spots in garages what i mean is they like to put some of the nicer cars i guess up front to just make it look like the lot's good and you know people are parking here and i totally am with it you know give me the good parking but i pay a little more because like it's a bigger vehicle that's the only downside you have to pay like an oversized vehicle fee but even so i'd rather get good parking rather than wait like 10 minutes for them to pull the car around Yo, it is pretty cold out in New York nowadays. Some days it's like 60, and then today it's like 28. If it rained, it'd be snowing. All the Christmas decorations are still up. So this street right now that I'm walking up and down on is a very, very famous street. It's called Diamond Jewelry Way. And it's actually where most of the diamonds are in New York City, all of them right here. This entire block, you get guys, every single shop, asking if you want to stop in, you want to buy, you want to cash in your gold and whatnot. What's up, man? How you doing? And tons of different shops, tons of different people, all of them selling, buying, diamonds. I mean, you name it, you just look in a window right here. I mean, look what's on display. Every single place. Absolutely crazy. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars of just product all up and down here. We have made it. Here we are. Bro, nice to see you, man. Nice to see Mr. You. Hollywood, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Doing good. What's up, bro? Nice to see you, man. It's been so long. Nice to see you. All right, guys, so you already know, we're gonna take a look at all this stuff. We gotta sit down, look at some of the pieces, but we're gonna look at my piece. Hi, how are you? Check this out, whoa. We've just been waiting for this for a little while now, bro. It's just, I've been waiting to see the chain without the pendant. Whoa, dude, that's sick. Very nice. Show you. So guys, look, this is the modification, ready? Before, the pendant used to not be able to come off the chain. Now, no way. Easily. Dude, it's on its own thing now. Holy crap. Yo, I'm just getting like, my reaction, I guess, just to seeing it. Like, when I first bought this chain in 2000, this I got this in 2018, March of 2018. This right here, guys, this is the blazonary chain that we got in March of 2018. Yeah, of course, made of real VVS diamonds on these. Shout out to the gang over at Aviani, you know, treating me like family always, right? When I bought this chain, like I was saying, in March of 2018, I was able to get the chain with the pendant, right? Here, so here, show the box. So explain exactly what, so you guys can go ahead, take the wheel, explain exactly what happened and what was going on before that it couldn't do that. So, so we made the veil bigger, basically. We made it bigger, we added gold to it. And now he's gonna show you how to put the chain through the veil. So it's like a specific way. Perfect. And I'll show them how to take it out. It slides right through now easily so basically the issue that we had was this pendant right here it could not go onto the chain we originally had it so that the pendant just came with the chain but now since i could just use this slide it right through there boom it literally will go on just now perfect i have not seen that before before you know when i got the cuban i didn't have this part and then i sent it in and then i got it back like this but i was not able right to take it off it was the same on both sides. So this side over here now had an adjustment. It's perfect. And as well, we have now a new replacement end. You know, anytime you guys need something, you get something from here, always bring your chain in, get it serviced, get it fixed up, and you can have some of the best customer service, I promise you that. y'all let's go ahead put the chain on for the first time in a few months <laughs> i'm stoked i'm super stoked so first all, i want to do something i haven't actually done in like three years well, just wear it as it is just, just for a, right? just to see it the cuban yeah just so this was the first piece that i had bought it was my cuban link and it was like the first 
huge piece of jewelry I remember. It was like my groundbreaking moment, I feel yeah. like, for me in my like my career. Damn, yeah, so that's just like, I'm gonna just be wearing just this. Wearing like the, I'm gonna wear the hell out of it just like this because yeah. don't get me wrong, I love repping my name, I love repping the chain, but this, it becomes too much. If you wear this every day, you don't get to appreciate it. And I ended up just not wearing it after a little while because I wanted to just, you know, feel like I, I wanted to wear the chain again. I can now wear the Cuban just as it is. You could even buy other pendants and put it on there. Exactly, like you just said, I can. I have the ability now to mix and match. So anything new in the future, I can use this as a base. And the best part, the original chain, the one that I had originally got made for this, we can now take it on and off because you guys made the chain with it on which was pretty cool. I have a lot of clients. Yep. They really don't care that the chain will go on and off of it, but then at the end of the day, they realize like, oh shit, I do want it to come off. Mm -hmm. So I ended up getting that swapped out and I appreciate you guys for taking that in and doing it so fast. Of course, of course. So here we go, now we'll wear it corrected. And yeah, <laughs> damn, the mask makes it so you can't see my smile, but I'm just yeah. smiling right now, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm so stoked, yo. Man, I have not seen myself like this. I'm happy for you, bro. Thank you. I haven't seen this in months. I'm happy you're happy. It really means a lot, you know. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right, though, let's go look at some more jewelry, huh? I gotta show them what you're rocking, though. This is crazy, but get it out. This is enamel right here. This is a memorial pendant. Like, look at that. Oh, wow. It's the guy 3D, though. It's beautiful. Then you got the H&M piece. You got the Aviani piece. You got what do you Aviani. got? Aviani. Always got to rep our brand, our name. Then you got a custom Byzantine link. And then you got the HM piece. Where's the HM? This is Hood Millions, but it's made for somebody. Flood it out. Sheesh. Holy crap. Brand new Cuban bracelets. Those are tight. You guys had a whole store remodel as well. Oh, oh yeah, you, you didn't show that, did you? Not really, not really. Tell them about it. So we had, they, if they remember, we had two different sides of showcases. So now it's easier to like look around, walk, shop. You guys used to stand back yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you would be, the counter was right here, but now you can just look at everything. It's like you said, it's that open display. Yeah, Bust yeah, it yeah. out, let's see it. Look at my hand and just look at, look how thick this is. Yeah. Holy, I like the sound. Yeah, so this is the, probably the craziest piece in the store right now. Oh, this one's sick. Yeah, artillery link, like you just said, that is. Wow. Got a matching bracelet to it also. Some crazy sh Damn. Whoa, so who's that for? Honestly, I don't even know. They come, they switch it out for new pieces. We do switch on, so. They come and go. This is for Cameron. This was. He brought it back in years ago. This one is also crazy. Pretty sure you guys saw this in the other video. You know, whose chain do I own right now? Whose was this? Adrian Broner's? So. Wasn't it? And then we cut it in half. Yeah, I think that's what it was for. This one's crazy too. That was for what's his face? Uh, that actor. You know who it was? It was Ariana Grande's ex. Carl, Ariana, Ariana Grande's, Grande's ex. ex. Pete Davidson? Yeah. Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. That's, that's who it was. was. Shaolin. Interesting. Justin Bieber. Yummy piece. How this is plated once. You understand? How it's not around it. This is double plated. You see? Who's that for? Blueface. Blueface. It Whoa. just came in for repair. How often does he send this in for repair? Uh, I mean, he wears it a lot, so like maybe like every month or two. Okay. We've been showing him some of the craziest stuff, but let's show him some little stuff too. So look guys, check that out right there. That's a Migos pendant. You got a little key. You got a, key. You got a Snapchat emoji. Where? Like ghost. <laughs> See how these are colors? These are called, it's called enamel work. All right, now we're, we might be taking a look at the craziest item in the store now, right? Would you say this is one of the craziest? craziest. I mean, the I case board is beautiful. So we got right here, the first, Baguette Cuban that's like set like it's rounded like it's domed. It's the first dome shaped Cuban Go up and down the block. You're not gonna see this. So that right there. Those are baguettes and what's special is that You can see it kind of curves around the side the difference right here between a plain one and a fully baguetted on one We got the snake Rolex right there. So just incredible detail with the matching uh, necklace Show them the lock right here Oh wow. Here bro, let's go ahead, we can trade. Let's swap. You could just, here, just keep mine. I'll just take no this problem. one. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> and I love how you guys kept like all the original Rolex details on there too. Of course. Wow. What's a watch like this go for? This one right here guys, if you want to walk away with this beautiful watch, $40 thousand dollars maybe y'all could uh take this and flood it out <laughs> you know well you know i think i think i'd want to keep this one plain jane and then i'd want to get a flooded one that's that's the goal one every day one to go out with that's like a cause ring with the eyes that's dope yo this was uh this was an eventful oh, wow. chain pickup 
I know y'all might be asking me now, yo Blaze, where's the jewelry collection? Y'all might get that on Thursday. This Thursday, y'all might get the jewelry collection now that we just picked up the pendant. Yo, what they had to do to that, they had to make the bail video that there was such a headache. This? Yeah, to be honest with you. But it's a sick piece. It came out beautiful. I think it's why, because getting the actual bail to stretch with the diamonds. Yeah, he had to add gold, he had to cut it, he had to add the gold to you. I wish I had a video of it. Maybe I do. This is after they made the bail bigger, put the N in. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Much love. Really appreciate it. Make sure y'all go check him out. What movie are y'all in? Go tell him. Come on. He's the main star. He's in Uncut Gems. I was Gems. in Uncut Gems, the movie. With Adam Sandler, I was his son. I was the main son in the movie. Oh, yeah. I got the Uncut Gems piece with me. My dad gave a couple of these out. Adam Sandler, I got one of these, too. He gave it out to the producer. That's so dope, yo. Yeah. He was in the movie, too, though. He was towards the I end. was towards the end. You're not going to really see me, but... You focus in the movie at the end, you'll actually see him jumping, us two jumping. Bro, that is... That's what I'm talking about. Y'all are now going big time, you know what I'm saying? I'll see you guys soon, alright? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna go down the block and go where? Left or right? Alright, here we go. So yeah, just walking down right now. Alright, there's another door. I gotta you once you get there. We're gonna meet up with one of my good homies, Justin. He went ahead, he got his own little thing going, and I'm super happy for him. So we're gonna come by, we're gonna take a look, we're gonna keep going every single time, y'all. We're gonna make new friends, keep showing people on the vlog. That's what it's all about. Let's go ahead and say what's up, though. It's been a minute. He did all my jewelry for me at Aviani. Yo, what's up, bro, what's up, man? So guys, we got the man right here, Musty Just. What's up, guys? How you doing? If you guys didn't know, there's a couple differences in gold, and I'd love to explain it. So this right here, that's white gold. As you guys can see, although it is still gold, it is not yellow, it is just complete white. And so there's a process in which you can make the gold yellow. So that's some yellow gold. And now how do they get rose gold? Well, gold is all mixed with different alloys. So rose gold is mixed with uh, copper. White gold is mixed with nickel. Uh, I don't exactly know what yellow gold is mixed with, but you know, there's percentages of gold and percentages of different alloys. Sometimes the camera makes it so difficult to actually capture what's going on, but I feel like this shot right here, it's completely dark with the flash on and you can just see only the stones. Super eventful day, super glad that I was able to get everything done that I wanted to. We got the chain, we got some memories. And now guys, we are gonna be going back home. Looking forward to getting some errands done. And it's just a great time in the city always. Like I said, it's it's different, you know? I'm Instead of saying the word hotel, I'm saying going home. You know, coming home to my house instead of a hotel. Totally different. Oh, look at that garbage, yo. Oh man. 